I've had a couple of questions about how exactly I was able to get the dragon to say the distance to the blimp and um, it's it's kind of easy when you're just looking at the code to think somebody knows how to do it but it's a lot easier if somebody can walk you through it so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disable the code that does it and then I'm going to drag and drop so just to step you through exactly how I did that um, first I'm gonna take the method of the dragon to say just anything and I'm gonna plug that in and it really doesn't matter what he says we can just even have him say hello <clears throat> and there we have dragon say hello now we want to go to the world because the world has a number of options when it comes to math and that's where we're gonna find many of the math functions and we're gonna do this what as a string function and we're going to place it where the hello is um, afterwards we're just going to put in just something. Um, that will cause an error in Alice because it's actually looking for a string. Now we can go back to the dragon and look at its functions and plug in that distance to. And in this case we want the distance to the blimp and there you can see we have the entire line of code. The other thing I was asked about was how did I get this formula in the while statement. I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, first I'm going to copy the one line that I'm going to need for the while statement and get me a while statement started. Drop that into the while statement and then I'm going to disable the original statement. I make my code window a little bigger. I'm going to disable the original while statement that I had. So now I want this to run as long as the blimp is at least um, the the height away from the dragon. So I'm going to say I'm going to go to the blimp. And I'm going to get the uh, I think there's an is at least it's right here. So I'm going to dump that into my while statement. And for right now, I'm just going to say one meter. Obviously, that's not what I want. I've got to go back and and get the actual blimp. Um, so, in, I actually want the blimp's height to be my measurement. So I'm going to go back, grab the blimp's height, and instead of one meter, I'm going to put the blimp's height in there. And instead of from the camera, I want it to be from the dragon, the entire dragon. And there we've built our entire statement. And so when we run the world, we'll see him say his position and move toward the blimp. And that's how that's accomplished.